thank uh, governance now for getting all the people from different facets of experience here because for a complex entity like Indian Railways, we have to consult many, many uh, people with different uh, areas, technology, actual uh, management experience and so on to improve Indian Railways operations. So my uh, talk is about uh, uh, how software-based solutions, smart algorithms can be used for improving safety and efficiency of railways. Uh, how do I go to, how do I go to the next? Uh, <coughs> uh, so the Indian Railways, we heard this many times, it's a gigantic uh, network, uh, uh, so I will not go through uh, this. The main part uh, is that it is carrying large number of passengers, more than 8 billion per annum. And if you look uh, uh, at how uh, technology companies are valued today, if you look at Facebook and its valuation, many, many billions of dollars. Why is it valued so highly? Because it is connected with many, many people. And if you use that formula, then Indian Railways should be valued at a much, much higher uh, valuation. So it's, it's a, it has a huge potential to become one of the largest, uh, you know, to, among the Fortune 500 companies in the world if you operate it uh, in, a, in a more professional and uh, using, uh, you know, better methods to improve efficiency. So the network, uh, of course, you, you, are, you know this network, so I will not. So the smart algorithms uh, help uh, in what is called advanced uh, decision support system. So they help in planning, making long-term plans uh, for investment, uh, making short-term uh, plans for augmentation or improvement. They also help in uh, actual operations, uh, like finding the best timetable or uh, finding dynamic modifications which may be needed because there is some accident, something has to be reworked, uh, rerouted, etc. And the methodology these algorithms use is that first you make a mathematical model uh, which has all the constraints that you have to satisfy, all the real constraints, and puts down all different objectives and different priorities in a systematic uh, form of equations. Uh, then you po populate this model with re real data. It may be statistical data gathered from your past experience. Uh, it may be a data that is forecasted for the future traffic and so on. Uh, or it may be real-time uh, data uh, uh, where you are actually op uh, optimizing the operation of, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, whatever the data may be, uh, <clears throat> this tends to be very large and you need very sophisticated algorithms to solve uh, these kinds of models. Uh, we, we do have world's best uh, methods for doing this. Um, and uh, once you apply these uh, algorithms to the data, you get, uh, it generates uh, superior options to optimize operations. So it gives you insight and ways of operating that you might not uh, think if you just work manually. Uh, now these algorithms also uh, have to be run on uh, supercomputers uh, because they need uh, sufficient computing power and also a large amount of memory to be able to hold uh, vast amounts of data. So, but once you do that, you get uh, a best solution that is possible under the prevailing constraints. And the best solution may surprisingly may be much better than what you may be practicing today. So there is a huge uh, scope for improving efficiency by using these algorithms and actually deploying them in uh, Indian Railways. Now the solution that you find may uh, pertain to uh, long-term plans or daily operations. Uh, the algorithms can also suggest uh, alternative scenarios or uh, possi possibilities and you can make your decisions uh, based on those. Uh, now this approach has, has been tried in other very complex logistic operations and uh, Indian Railway, since it operates a gigantic geographically distributed resources here, there is a huge potential for uh, operating in a smarter way. Uh, so that uh, you can improve the efficiency, actually operating efficiency significantly. Now there are two uh, different versions uh, that you can uh, use for these algorithms, uh, an offline mode and an online mode. The offline mode is used for long-term planning and the online mo mode is used for day-to-day -day operations. <clears throat> and uh, you have all heard of this uh, analytics, data analytics. Uh, now, uh, wh what one can do is combine uh, the analytics with the optimization algorithms. The first, the data analytics uh, methods, they have to first obtain the data or uh, data extraction. 
This can be done from conventional uh, databases uh, and, where, and data warehouses, which are uh, structured, very highly structured forms of data. And uh, Railways has uh, many such uh, databases. Uh, Chris uh, operates these, uh, you know, manages these databases. Uh, then there is also a large amount of unstructured data from multiple sources, what these days is called big data. So the, this data may come from uh, a variety of sources, in, including even social networks. Now, when you combine this data using the analytics method, it can lead to insights or conclusions that may not be uh, obvious from uh, or may not be apparent through the conventional MIS report. So there is something significant more that you gain uh, by uh, working on this such data. Now, once you have the data in the right way, uh, the, then the next phase is the analysis phase. Uh, in the analysis phase, uh, you can gain insight of uh, at multiple different types. It may be diagnostic type, it may be prescriptive type, or it may be predictive type. In the di diagnostic type of analytics, uh, one, uh, it enables you to identify the problems. For example, you may be able to identify uh, uh, where the bottlenecks are or where the, there is a saturated, uh, where the capacity is extremely uh, highly inadequate for the, day, for the traffic. So these are the bottleneck areas, or there are many other types of uh, problems can be identified. In the predictive uh, analytics, you can lead to forecast so that uh, the things that might happen in future, you should not uh, get caught by surprise, uh, and you can uh, make your decisions uh, on that basis. Now, the real benefit of these analytics uh, is amplified significantly by using optimization algorithms. Doing the analytics alone will give you some insight uh, but the optimization uh, it brings into it uh, not just value addition, it's a value multiplication that the optimization algorithms bring on top of uh, the, the data analytics. And it allows you to uh, then uh, find much better solution and find efficient use of the resources and assets that are owned by Indian Railways. <coughs> now, the previous, the, these kinds of algorithms we have applied previously, mainly in uh, United States, and it led to uh, several billion dollars per annual saving. Uh, the entire uh, network, uh, the telecom network in US was optimized also in Japan, and also to many military logistics problems. So these algorithms are useful when you have to solve complex distributed logistic problems, and Indian Railway is, uh, is, a, is, is, even, bigger, is even bigger than uh, these problems that were solved in the past. And also the potential is higher, something that people may not uh, realize that uh, the time horizon that you work on, uh, uh, the, the GDP doubling time in India is much shorter than in the United States. And so uh, the, the growth or the rate of return you get by using these algorithms is much higher. And now, uh, uh, once you apply these algorithms, there are many different uh, modes in which you can uh, set your objectives. The first one is, of course, um, optimization of volume. That means you can maximize the revenue generated from the given assets. So the, this is, uh, of course, by carrying more passengers and carrying more freight. Uh, even in the passengers' reservation systems, if you allocate the seats intelligently, the, rather than doing it on a first-come, first-served basis, you'll, you, you know when you do the booking in railways, you'll, you'll find you're your always waitlisted. But there may be seat actually available. But if you do it, a very intelligent analysis of who's getting off and who's getting on at different stations. It is possible to accommodate more traffic in the same, same uh, trains that are already running. Uh, this, in the same way for goods, there is, uh, uh, you can maximize the revenue by uh, having different types of loads uh, in the same train. You know, some may be, uh, you know, there, is a, there are constraints based on the weight, there are constraints based on the volume, but you can mix, and uh, the optimization algorithm finds you the best way to mix uh, these uh, things so that uh, you can carry more load on the same uh, tracks, same same trains. Then you can minimize the operating costs. So this leads to, of course, more efficiency and higher profitability by uh, uh, re reducing your cost. Uh, there are other things that you can do in the long-term planning. That is, you can do optimized ranking of different investment options. So this allows you to select the best plan from several alternatives. And another interesting thing that you can do uh, is that uh, uh, when you have to do capacity augmentation and you have to lay new lines, these are very long-term projects and uh, the viability of the project depends on how quickly you can uh, achieve the break-even point. And you can do, using the optimization algorithms, you can minimize the time to 
time to reach break even point by uh, uh, by even using the partially constructed tracks in an intelligent way for scheduling and you start generating uh, you start making use of them even before the entire stretch is complete and in this way you can actually reduce the time for break even and this is very significant for attracting investment if you are able to because these are very long term uh, projects uh, uh, the investors uh, will look at uh, how quickly you can get get back the return so all these things can be addressed using these uh, very sophisticated uh, algorithms uh, so I, I think that uh, i will uh, stop there i don't want to hold you up for a long time so since this whole thing is about uh, algorithms that run fast i'm also uh, finish my presentation fast so that you can have your lunch <laughs>